recently came across some rather interesting information about this uh, particular SES Portuguese Hall of Santa Clara out in California. I'm going to show you some pictures of this. Um, start out here with some photos. You can see up here SES Portuguese Hall of Santa Clara. Right there it is. They're doing a processional. When I was in Costa Rica many years ago. I remember seeing Catholic processionals where they would go from a cathedral over to another place or whatever else, and they'd have the host, the Eucharistic host, or they'd have a statue of Mary or whatever else. So I've seen this. Um, but uh, right here you have this guy in the purple here with the sword. He's a Knight of Columbus, and here's another one, another Knight of Columbus. And they have these banners and everything. Um, that might actually be the priest right there, a Catholic priest. You'll see that later. Again, this SES Corporation, Santa Clara, significance of that will make sense here in just a minute or two. There you have Mary back there of Fatima, where she appeared. That's this, the uh, um, St. Clair's Catholic Church out there, um, very near to something that's interesting. We'll talk about that in a bit. There's there another one of the symbols, the... Jesuits like to use is the dove flying downward. You'll see that with some Jesuit things. Again, another one of their banners. Uh, some things of Mary there. Some statues of Mary. Different photos from their uh, Facebook page of Mary there. There's their Facebook page. Again, more of the processional. They have a, they, uh, different dinners and things there. There's, again, Knights of Columbus right here. And there's the processional with Mary, the Statue of Mary. One of their stained glass windows. Again, uh, you can see some of the things that they do there. Just kind of going through this quickly. Mary, the processional coming up to this place right here. This is the St. Uh, Hall of Santa Clara. SES Portuguese Hall of Santa Clara. You can see kind of the close up there, these Catholics with their pagan idolatry. Kind of an interesting thing. Again, the Knights of Columbus there, a Roman Catholic secret society, sort of like the Freemasons. All the different uh, banners and everything that they carry. There's the guy, the Catholic priest in the back of a pickup truck doing a you know, service outside, a mass or something, I guess, outside. And there you have the Fatima thing again. And back to the beginning. Um, but here's their website. You get down through here, just showing some of the different things they do. All these big, you know, parties that they have at their hall there, essentially, and Kind of reminds me of a Baptist uh, social events that they do, the, the uh, covered dish suppers and whatever. No connection, though, to the Catholic Church, I'm sure. Uh, 1375 Lafayette Street, Santa Clara, California, 95050. Right there, it's uh, where this place is located at. Okay? Remember that uh, address there. That'll be important here in a little bit. Here you have SES Corporation on BuzzFile. 1375 Lafayette Street, Santa Clara, California. All right. Now look at this. This is an interesting thing down here. Similar companies nearby. Industry participants and competitors. Jesuit Volunteer Corps. 0.3 miles away. Hmm. The Jesuit Retreat Center of Los Altos. 9.6 miles away. Two Jesuit things nearby. Hmm. Isn't that kind of an interesting thing? But uh, where's this thing really located at? Santa Clara. Santa Clara University. A Jesuit school where Gavin Newsom, among many other prominent Jesuits, uh, was educated. I think even uh, Kamala Harris did some of her uh, studies and things here at the university library. I remember hearing about that. But um, where is Lafayette Street? Right there is Lafayette Street. So you have there and uh, the 
Catholic church there that they make the pilgrimage to is right down in here, right behind the university. So right here is uh, SES Portuguese Hall. There you can see it. Okay, so you have the Portuguese Hall right there, right here, and the uh, big Jesuit university right there. There to there. What is that? One, two, three, four. We'll say, well, if you start here, you know, four or five blocks away from this uh, Jesuit school. Hmm. You see, what's, what's the big deal here? What's so interesting about this? Well, here we have real Bible believers. Gene Kim. Um, go to the about. Uh, San Jose Bible Baptist Church. 13, whoops. 1375 Lafayette Street, Santa Clara, California, 95050. Hmm. Kind of interesting, isn't it? You say, well, it's, he just did a, a misprint there or something. Okay, well, then let's go here to this website. Uh, go here. Go to this one here. There you have this is Bible Baptist Church International. They're real Bible believers. Don't forget that. And uh, you go down. Oh, where is the thing here? Uh, contact us. There you have the one. Ontario, California. And here you have. 1375 Lafayette Street, Santa Clara, California. Why is the address there for a, a Roman Catholic hall where the fanatic Knights of Columbus and things go? Isn't that kind of strange? Paste and go. Real Bible believers. There you have Gene Kim right there. Get down through here. Address San Jose Bible Baptist Church, 1375 Lafayette Street, Santa Clara, California. Hmm. I'm just looking into things because I'm stupid, uh, dumb, hillbilly, and whatever else. And Article of Incorporation of Pioneer Bible Baptist Church. Okay, you see, this is, must be a different Baptist church there or something. I don't know, maybe, perhaps. Uh, name, Kyung Wan Kim. This corporation is organized and operated ex exclusively for religious purposes, which the meaning of Section 501c3 of the Internal Revenue Code. 501c3, Pioneer Bible Baptist Church. Okay, let's look at the... Amendment here. February 21st, 2014. Genaha, Genaha, Kim, and Yunga Kim certify that they are the president and secretary, respectively, of Pioneer Bible Baptist Church, a California corporation. The name of this corporation is uh, uh, Article First of the Articles of Incorporation of this corporation is amended to read as follows. Okay, it's amended. The name of this corporation is San Jose Bible Baptist Church. Okay, and it goes down through there. There's a signature. 501c3, San Jose Bible Baptist Church. Hmm. San Jose Bible Baptist Church. With the address of a Roman Catholic hall that's uh, connected to the Jesuit uh, Santa Clara University. Hmm. You say, oh, now, come on, you're just, you're getting ridiculous here and whatever else. Of course I am. Uh, that's what I do, apparently. But uh, what troubles me, I've had people ask me if I could look into this before, and uh, they say his testimony is very strange. I watched this whole entire thing, an hour and 39 minutes and 38 seconds, waiting to hear when he got saved 
And this is as close as I could get to it. He never said, I came to the Lord. I understood I was a sinner. Um, I got down on my knees. I asked God to save me. I understood that, you know, he didn't go, he never went through it. As close as he gets, listen to what he says here. And then during that time, the Lord touched my heart where I surrendered my all to the Lord Jesus Christ at the age of 14. At 14, I sur that was the age that I surrendered all to Jesus. I said, Lord, whatever sin that I have in my heart, I surrender it to you. Lord God, whatever issues I have, I'm even willing, I am scared to die for your name, but I am willing to even do that for you, Lord Jesus. I did that at the age of 14. Because I surrendered at an early age, I was not influenced by the worldly wicked things out there. Okay, because he surrendered at an early age, he was not influenced by the worldly wicked things out there. Um, a lot of these guys that are raised in these Baptist churches, they have no concept of what biblical salvation is. They have no concept of the new birth. They don't come to God as a broken sinner because they've been just this little satin pillow upbringing and whatever else. And, you know, I would say, okay, maybe he's saying he's rededicating his life or whatever else, offering yourself to, to the Lord and things. And, and then to say that, you know, I don't get messed up, you know, from the, the ways of the world and whatever. And it's kind of funny because he actually goes on later on to talk about how he went to UC Berkeley. You know, when I first people say, hey, what do you think about Gene Kim? I, I looked into who he was and whatever, and I... I saw UC Berkeley and PBI, well, Pensacola Bible Institute, whatever, there, it's, you know, Peter Ruckman's school. Okay, fine. But I thought, why would you talk about Berkeley? I thought, oh, well, okay, you know, he went to Berkeley as a lost man, and then he went to PBI after that, after he got saved or something. He got saved going to Berkeley, and, you know, when he went to Berkeley, he got saved at some point, left it, and went to PBI. Oh, okay. No, no, no. He went to PBI when he was 16 years old, according to this testimony left when he was 19 with a uh, master's and a doctorate degree, uh, three years. Now, I have known pastors that have PhDs, and it's seven years. You know, it's not a quick thing to get a, you know, PhD, a doctorate type of a degree. It takes a long time, not three years. So, but he leaves, and then he goes to Berkeley. Gets a scholarship, actually. He talks about it. Gets a scholarship to go to Berkeley. I thought he didn't get messed up with the ways of the world because he got dedicated his life to the Lord when he was 14. Am I missing something here? You know? I mean, you fans of Gene Kim out there, uh, could you please enlighten me here as to uh, why on earth? And it's funny, too, because Berkeley, uh, I think their motto is something about, uh, you know, let there be light. Let there be light. In English. Yeah. That's their motto. Let there be light. Hmm. Kind of like a Freemasonic thing. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of odd, but what's going on here? He has the same address as a Roman Catholic organization. And you say, well, well, maybe they, they bought the, the thing and whatever else. No, they didn't because uh, you go to some of their activity calendar right here and um, 2020 events so they're still there it's still very much active yeah and and even if he bought it which would you know whatever but uh, even if they bought it somehow or something that they're going to take over this Catholic thing I would find that very interesting because there's a lot of Baptist you know, groups and things Hiles Anderson College bought a Catholic uh, institution. Um, Maranatha Bi Baptist College bought a Catholic uh, university. Just, it's very bizarre, extremely bizarre. So I just thought I'd make a real quick video on this. Um, I'm sure Gene Kim and his pride will now try to look for some kind of a thing to happen wrong with us so that he can claim that God gave him the victory or whatever else. Um, see, here's the whole point. I can just cover up this stuff like a good Baptist would do. I can just say, well, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. You know, Gene Kim, oh, he, I, I don't agree, but he's my brother and whatever else. Uh, I'm not convinced that he is. 
Okay, I didn't hear one word in this testimony of his that would convince me that he's saved. And there are these guys, and they see that Baptist yelling and shouting, and they see the mind control of it. They 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 get into the thing of all the detail, the technical detail of being a Bible believer, and they'll learn it. They learn it very well. Uh, Robert Breaker is another good example of this, and it's exciting and whatever. And then they realize, hey, I can make a good living at this, you know. And they're not born again. You listen to their actually actual testimonies. There's there's no new birth there. They don't even understand the gospel. So you better be very careful about these guys. And you'll see when they depart from stuff that they were taught at PBI or whatever else, you'll see them fall into all kinds of heresy. Uh, it's just incredible. So I would strongly recommend running away from this uh, guy's ministry. Um, you can take it or leave it, whatever you want there. But uh, really messed up.